All right, round three. We don't have a particularly good hand here, but we do have reproach and coils and around the draw, so I think we're going to keep it. The fact that I have early plays makes us able to draw out of this, and I guess we don't have to play sandstone uh, bridge super early either. All right, well, more removal is fine for now, I guess. But for playing against tokens, Tightening Coils and Gideon's Approach is going to be a lot worse. Blister Pod is not really played outside of Black Green. And Tightening Coils gets a lot worse with uh, token-based decks that typically run like Bone Splinters and stuff like that. All right, Noyandar is actually a pretty nice draw. I have a feeling there's a Bone Splinters in our future, but we'll have to see. Might just be willing to play Sandstone Bridge next turn. If we draw a land, I won't. If we don't, I probably will. Hmm, all right, I admit. Blue is not the mana I was expecting to see, but could still be Bug. Yeah, okay. Bug makes sense. So now it's probably like Skyrider Elf and stuff like that we have to watch out for. All right. Still not quite in a rush to play Sandstone Bridge. So if he plays a creature here, I think it's in my best interest to play Tightening Coils on it, because Gideon's Reproach is going to be better served with Noyandar. Really want to maximize that ability. Alright, leaving up Spell Shrivel, I presume, but we're just going to let him Spell Shrivel the drone here. Much better Spell Shriveling that than my Noyandar. No Spell Shrivel, okay. Incubator Drone was a fantast uh, fantastic top deck there. Oh, okay, converge, converge.deck. Woodland uh, dude, bring to light. Now it's probably woodland guy. But then that really wouldn't work because the mana that you put on it. Eyeless Watcher, okay. So more likely a Swarm Surge deck. Uh, could also be a Tajuru Beastmaster deck. Both of these make sense to me. All right, Shadow Glider's fine. We're just going to get Mr. Noyandar down there now. This kind of turns off his Swarm Surge since we'd still be able to at least block one and kill it. Okay. Woodland Wanderer, actually not that big of a deal with our Tightening Coils. So we get to go Glider plus Tightening Coils, which is quite good. Cloud Manta 2 is nice. Uh, not in a big rush to play the Sandstone Bridge, but on the other hand, if I draw Wave Wing at this point, would like to play it right away. I still can with the Scion. All right, maybe Sandstone Bridge is best served next turn. It's one. It's ah, it's only one point of damage. But the Vigilance is actually nice in this match. But I guess it's not that relevant against Swarm Surge anyway. All right, let's just play it. We have three Wave Wing Elementals, so I think. This is fine. I 
So, unfortunately, this opens us up for bone splinters, but nothing to be done about that. All right, no attacks, no plays. That's curious. Ghostly Sentinel's a good draw. Let's get in with the Shadow Glider. Play the flyer and pass. Um, should have actually left a white untapped so I could have reproached and used Noandar. That was a mistake. Hopefully not a costly one, but we'll find out. Okay. Desolation Twin is going to be a bit of a problem, but we still can absolutely race this. So, Clutch of Currents would be a pretty incredible draw. Um, like I said, we're actually still okay. And Circling Fissure is insane. Circling Fissure is bonkers here. So, um, I can actually play Cloud Manta plus and Circling Fissure. And I still get to awaken. Yeah, I think we're we're going for that play here. I'm not gonna get the maximum awaken, but this still seems really good to me, actually. Problem is, I'm not gonna be able to block with the three three. Oh, but. I'm going to be able to block with my Sentinel. Let me think about this. We're actually going to be one short of being able to get the twin. Hmm. I have to think about this. Might just be irrelevant. I kind of want this Cloud Manta. It certainly changes the clock. So if I do Cloud Manta, play the Fissure, get a 3-3. Let's just get in with Flyers for now. Could leave the Glider back, but does that change the clock? 15, then I play this. No, it's still a two-turn clock, isn't it? Okay, let's go Sentinel. Cloud Manta. Oh, wait, I still... No, I could have blocked with the... Okay, I should have attacked with the Glider, too. So we're going to cast Encircling Fissure pre-blocks in case he has Spell Fissure here. So I guess we can just block with everything. His guys can't deal damage. And let's see here. Doesn't doesn't actually matter. We definitely want to kill the non token though. Because We have Clutch of Currents. Okay. Seems good.
Okay. Ghostly Sentinel down. We'll accept it. And Light Spring Druid, sure. Adverse Conditions is very good here, so let's tap down Woodland Wanderer and Blister Pod, and then we get to swing with everything. And we can still use Reproach. So he chumps six damage, and then I presume he's going to take 11. Could also chump the drone, or Noyandar, rather. So he only takes seven. Gotta have something pretty good here. All right, chump blockers for days. It certainly helps. Okay, well, we're just going to get in with our flyers then. No need to swing with more than that. If I'd swung with everything, my opponent could have gone block 6-6, six, six, block, block, and would have taken an extra damage. That's not a big deal. Scion attacks. Guess we'll block here. Get in with everything. Okay. So got game one. Opponent's deck looks good. Woodland Wanderer is quite strong. Desolation Twin is obviously strong. I'm curious if my opponent is running two. So my opponent's not running a, or at least I assume they're not running a uh, token aggro deck. So I don't expect to see Swarm Surges in there, but a lot of expensive stuff is my assumption. I don't have any counter spells. I could run another Adverse. Tightening Coils actually played pretty well there for us. Exert Influence, is that going to do anything? Might just be worth it to make my mana better. I'm trying to remember. I could steal a Lifespring Druid. I can steal... I feel like there's things I'm forgetting. Blister Pod, which is not that great to steal. Woodland Wanderer is not going to happen. Yeah, might I think I'm just going to make my mana better. Let's cut the swamp. I think I'm still okay running the Fertile Thicket, but I haven't fully explored how much I like that yet. Basically, just finds us more lands. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Fertile Thicket. My sample size of playing it when you don't need it is still small enough where I'm curious. We do need to replace the Exert Influence, so let's try the second Adverse Conditions. See if we like that. 
Okay, let's try this again. It's a great hand, and certainly a keep. Sky Spawner into Drone is very good. Drop is Invoker. Sure. Not going to F6 now. Guess I could have Tightening Coils there. But I have the drone, which is going to be able to block it. Which I feel like is likely going to be better for us. Otherwise, I, I will trade a Sky Spawner for a Lifespring and Druid. My opponent needs that mana a lot more than I need a 2-1 Flyer, I would say. Alright, that was a great draw. Let's go Sky Spawner here. I was kind of saving the Tightening Coils for that Woodland Wanderer, but just because that's a really strong card. Opponent hasn't played a second color yet, which is good news for us, I would say, for the most part. Could play Woodland Wanderer two color, and that's a 4-4 Trampler, but I've got the Tightening Coils. Okay, Eyeless Watcher. Looks like my opponent is going to be ramping here. Might be willing to make this trade. Can't really decide. I think I, I actually take it. I've, I've got the drone coming up. I'm, I'm okay. My opponent's at four, five, six mana. Still quite a bit away from Desolation Twin. And even if they get the twin, I have the clutch for at least the token, which is good. Okay, second tightening. Well, I've got coils for him, too. I can beat a Desolation Twin with this hand. So, let's get him to Sky Spawner. Let's drop our drone and pass. Could use Coastal Discovery next turn at the cost of one of our Scion tokens, which might be worth it. Something for six. Conduit of Ruin. Okay. So, Conduit, I assume, searching up Desolation Twin. Which means it's only going to cost my opponent eight mana. Which also means my Outbreaker oh, of Armies. So... Now my opponent is only two lands away. I can bounce Conduit, though, with Clutch, and then my opponent is at least two turns from recasting Conduit. Yeah, actually, that is, seems kind of good to me. Let's, uh, let's Clutch here, bounce Conduit. And let's get in for a boatload of damage here. Can double block the incubator drone. We'll take out the invoker. My opponent can take five. Oh, they can double block the land. That's actually okay, too. We would lose both blockers. This seems fine to me. I can see why this would be detrimental, since I am, in fact, losing a land. But I've, I've got Coastal Discovery next turn if I draw a land. Otherwise, mm, coils don't look that great here, but they're, they're fine to hold on to for now. All right, Eyeless Watcher. Get some board clutter out there. So now my opponent can replay the... Uh, um, conduit, but it's going to come at a cost of Scion tokens once again. So let's just uh, Coastal Discovery here and swing for four first, I guess. Mm, 
not worth it to swing with the Scion. I think my opponent would make that trade. All right, just chumping, so it's Discovery. Draw some cards, get a 4-4, and pass. So now my opponent presumably plays a land or doesn't play a land and sacks everything to get the conduit down, search something else up. Then I can adverse. Okay, I think this is going to work quite well for us. We're going to adverse on our turn his conduit and his lifespring druid, which is actually... Pretty crippling here since he can't uh, cast anything without at least ramp or a second color. See if he actually searches up uh, another card. I'm curious if he does. Oh, Brood Monitor. Okay. That's quite good. So I guess we're on the Courier Griffin plan now, which also seems fine. Uh, I can actually encircling fissure too. Hmm. I think we just swing with the four four and the two one. And probably just encircling fissure. This I'm also okay with, so get in for our two damage, follow up with a griffin. Pass. Okay. So opponent only has to sack one Scion now to replay the Conduit, which means they could play Breaker of Armies the turn after that, but I do have Adverse Conditions still. I even have Tightening Coils. I have... All the protection someone could ask for from Big Fat Fatties. And circling Fissure included. So yeah, just a grip full of cards that protect me from problems. And I'm flying over top right now, which is pretty awesome for us. Opponent is deliberating. All right, opponent has decided to attack with a brood monitor, which will absolutely take. Bone Splinters of the Griffin, sure. Follow up with Conduit of Ruin is my assumption. Which means we're going to be able to adverse them both down. My opponent has no ability to play Breaker of Armies next turn, so we're going to be able to smash in for 8, which puts us, our opponent in a very difficult spot. I don't think my opponent should have done there's absolutely no reason to put Desolation Twin on top of your deck. You have no means. You don't have the resources to play it. So that was certainly incorrect on my opponent's part. So leave these tapped down. and I believe my opponent is toast at this point. No ability to play Breaker. Boiling Earth doesn't get you out of this. You just drew a Desolation Twin, which is not what you want. 
on top of your deck when your mana screwed. So even if my opponent hadn't made the mistake and put the Desolation Twin on top of their deck and had drawn a land, they would not have had the ability to play the Breaker of Armies that turn because I tapped down the Lifespring Druid. So turned out to be irrelevant anyway, but it certainly was a misplay on their part. Um, ended up going 2-1. Like I said, I liked our deck a lot. I'm glad we got to use Noyandar to our advantage. Uh, Exert Influence came up huge. Match 1, Game 1. Circling Fissure is fantastic. I almost think I should have taken... Well, I don't want to say that, though. What did I take over in Circling Fissure? Now I can't remember. Was it a second drone? Was it a courier griffin? Either way, Fissure is insane. I may have wanted to take the second one, but that's tough to say. All right, and even Tandem Tactics came up big, so cool deck came together nicely for us. Hope you enjoyed it. We are going to stay in Swiss for at least another draft, depending on if we win. Um, but hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.